they do relabel these a lot. It's a very common practice. So if you have a remote that looks like this, um, this video is going to cover a couple things. One, I'm going to give you the instructions on how to actually program this system because you have to actually open this system up. Inside, it shows you that there's, actually on the diagram, it shows you that it's a code learning button. Now, unlike a normal system that you would expect would be closed, it would need to be a push button located on the side because how inconvenient is it to open up the entire housing and get down to the printed circuit board just to program a transmitter is a little ridiculous. So again, with the Chinese engineering um, or in the harness i also thought that perhaps it would be located here which is just a useless valet because the system actually has no security functions so go figure um that's why I, that's why I, I have job security so when they say that you need to access the programming button you actually actually have to open this up and the way it's done is that you can see that there's these little tabs right here so you just stick a little tool in there like i did i took my hook tool push it in there pried it pried it down I gently peeled back the side, opened it up to expose where that switch is. So it's just like a little button you would experience to find on a, a, a transmitter or a car alarm remote, something like that. So that is where the programming switch is located. Moving on to actually showing you how to program this remote control, the way it says it is to press the learning switch for five seconds. So again, they're calling this the learning switch. Hold that for five seconds. The directional lights, or as we call here in America, the parking lights, will long flash. So they're going to long flash, and then they're going to keep on. So what that means in English is the parking lights going to come on, and then they're going to stay on. The system enters into the learning mode now. Press any key on the remote control, any one of these four buttons. Within 10 seconds, the lights will flash and keep on, again with the keeping on, keep on keeping on, indicating the remote has been learnt up. The remote has been learnt up. It can be learnt up to four remote controls for every main unit in the same time. <laughs> if the remote control is lost, the old code is, is invalid and needs to recode again. So once you learnt up your remote control, it delete old remote. So that's how this works. And this will learn up to four transmitters. So I'm also going to put up a screenshot at the end of the video so that way you can look at it and freeze the screen. So if you do need wiring information for the system, if you lost it, if you got one of these things, uh, as a gift, um, God help you. <laughs> I'm going to put the information. I'm just kidding. I don't know if these things are really any good or if they're not good. They may be great. I, who the heck knows? Um, they seem to be pretty typical. Actually, from what I'm looking at, it doesn't look all that poor. So once you can demystify it and know exactly what system you're working with, um, it's good information to have. And I know it's very hard to find it. Sometimes I've even purchased lots of these things myself um, for my own use, resale, or whatever. They don't even come with the damn instructions. So at least I actually had an instruction this time around. So that's a good thing. So there you have it. There's the MFK 285 295 relearned remote control.